What we're looking at happening is I got this X for you. So with our shin car, we want this to be our marker. With our ankle car, I actually don't want this to move at all, okay? So from here, what we're gonna have her do is she's gonna actually come up a little bit and I actually like to have it elevated. So she's gonna lift her foot off of the ground so there's a little bit more freedom, it's also a little bit more demand. So from here, this is not allowed to move. We want to feel tension through the ankle joint. She's going to start off by gas pedaling down. So she's just going to go straight down with tension, nice and smooth. And now we're going to go ahead all the way in and she's going to draw that circle all the way to the ankle and then she's going to use that tibialis anterior to pull it back. So while the shin isn't actually moving, these muscles are contracting. So if you put your hand on here and you feel them contracting, don't think that you're compensating. What's happening is the muscles actually working. So we're gonna do both directions. She's gonna come all the way around, making sure it's slow. Maybe not with her, but you'll see on yours that you're gonna have some spots where it goes and it just jolts through. That's gonna be a spot where you don't really have the neurological control, and that's really what we're working on here. So if you notice those certain little ranges, you can either go there, stay there, and create some tension there, or just really focus on actually going through that portion super slow so that in the future, it's gonna get only better. Make sure you do both directions. Again, shin doesn't move, ankle does. You should feel tension in your ankle. You should definitely feel all this stuff working. Try to really max out every single rep, more tension, every single rep get a little further without compensating. Try those out and let us know how it goes, five to 10 a day.